piece so i guess it's just gonna be like a little midday self-care afternoon um for me sometimes self-care is really simple because when you're not feeling the best you tend to neglect every single part of yourself even like the basic thing like washing your face showering etc um i'm trying to really get in my self-care bag this year and of course it's more than just like the frilly pretty things um and like the maintenance vlogs and all that don't get it twisted i love watching those but um like it's okay to take a moment i gotta remind myself that i want to remind you that it's okay if you pause from everybody else and do what you gotta do to make sure you feel good and you get to decide what makes you feel good as long as they're healthy habits of course but i find like it's so easy to get caught up worrying about everyone else's needs getting anxious wondering what's next getting depressed feeling like you don't have control over anything and really do what you do have control over you know it's not gonna be perfect every single day you're not gonna get it right every day you're not gonna feel like it every day but at least do that one thing you know what i'm saying because regardless of how great or not so great our support system is at the end of the day you gotta face yourself you see yourself first in the mirror at the darkest of times at the dark of the night you have to face your worries your fears whatever it is that you got going on in your mind unless you open your mouth really only you know it so you have to have you so when you think about self-care you don't gotta go spend no big bag <laughs> trying to impress anybody or you know trying to make it aesthetic unless you want to unless you got it like that um, start small. Use the things you have. And your self-care can simply be trying to find out what your own needs are right now. Go schedule that appointment you've been putting off. Um, really address those problems you've been having, whether it's emotional, mental, physical, your self-care can be you really looking in the mirror. For me lately, self-care has been being okay, being uncomfortable. I'm not comfortable with all these doctor appointments. <laughs> I hate talking on the phone, as you all know. Um, I'm not comfortable having those uncomfortable, those, uh, not uncomfortable, those confrontational, you know, topics with my man. But if you need something, you gotta open your mouth, you know? Um, I'm not comfortable, you know, saying to, you know, my sister and who I do speak to, hey, what's up, where you been, <laughs> you know, um, but how would anybody know what you need or if you miss them or whatever, if you don't say something, speak out loud, even if it's to yourself, if you're the one who's not hearing you speak to you what's going on with you for real for real what do you need that you've been putting off um, 
that it this self-care journey is also knowing I've passed the point of like where I am environmentally and getting to that place of really searching to make who I am and where I am coincide for it to really look like this is me for real, you know, in all aspects. So like for me, taking care of me may look like it's simple <laughs> from the outside because I get to make these videos because I love to make these videos. They feel relaxing to me. Um, but it's difficult. Uh, I'm very triggered by noises lately. So I find myself highly agitated almost always. Um, I love quiet time and I don't get it as people age or as they don't understand um, what trying to make yourself a priority is. It gets to be a struggle um, having a voice. So having a voice is definitely uncomfortable um, and combating everything you're usually told. You can be a little selfish. Let them think you're standoffish. A matter of fact, have them wondering who you think you are. <laughs> like, be whoever you gotta be for you, because being in a life of uh, depletion, drain, worry, sadness, no purpose, it's not where it's at. So if you've been doing your little face routine, your little hair routine, and it makes you feel like you popping and you could, you know, face the world to do what you gotta do, then do that. But remember, inner and outer. So let's look popping on the outside. Let's take care of our inside. Um, let's really be nurturing to ourselves right now. Give ourselves grace for all that we didn't know. And be bold enough to be in the awareness of our current knowledge. And love ourselves and hearts enough to do new things. Be a new person or even just be just the person you want to be right now. Because I feel like as humans, especially as women, we continually evolve. We have so many different roles and we forget about enjoyment and solace. It's really okay to have it all. You might not be able to do it all, but I think it's possible to have it all. At least when it comes to just feeling at peace. Anyway, that's my little blurb for today. <laughs> I hope it touched your heart because I spoke it from the heart. <laughs>